uh, it is it is my privilege to be seated uh, on the same stage, sharing the same stage with the uh, Padma Shri Awardees, Sangeet Natak Academy Awardees, and just two legends in their respective fields, Aruna Ji in Karnataka music, Nartiki Ji in Bharatanatyam. And uh, a small snippet, I am... Before I heard words, I heard the sound of gungru bells. I heard the sound of music. I am a daughter of a dancer. So for me, this is something that is like, you know how you sort of meet your dream icons? For me, this is as good as it gets. So thank you so much, Aruna ji. Thank you so much, Nartaki ji, for taking the time out to attend the India Today Women's Summit, Gender Equity. Uh, so Aruna ji and Nartaki ji, when I was talking to my ma, I said, what should I ask them? And, uh, you know, give me, some, give me some questions. You are an artist. Tell me. And I think I have learned from my mother. But I think for, for her, for both of you, uh, the gurus back then were predominantly male. The tradition of art was predominantly passed by men. Uh, I want you to talk about a little bit about your journeys in your respective art. And how now, because you both are gurus yourself, and teaching your tradition, in your case, uh, Nartiki Ji, the Tanjavar Quartet specialized the Bharatanatyam, and Aruna Ji Abhangs introduced in Carnatic music, how have you seen that shift happen, that the gurus are now also women? Aruna Ji, we'll begin with you. A very good morning to everyone here and to all the illustrious, uh, uh, great speakers who have uh, preceded us here. It's an honor to be here. Yes, it was um, a privilege to be the disciple of a woman, Srimati T. Brinda, my guru. And uh, suddenly this was no ordinary woman, you know, she was a fire steel person and in every action, be it cooking food or dressing up or speaking to people or conversation or singing or carrying herself on the stage, she had her own andaz, as you would say. She had her own approach to doing things. Uh, with the result that if uh, Brinda Ma, my guru, would walk into a room uh, which had a bunch of musicians sitting there, all of them top-notchers, be it men or women, they would all stand up in reverence to her entry. That is the kind of respect she commanded. And uh, I think one of the things why, one of the reasons why I'm probably sitting here today speaking to you is that role model that she set for me. Uh, a 10 year old, I was 10 and she was 60 when we started uh, this journey as Guru and Sishya and it, it has been a more, uh, a very, very spectacular experience. Yeah. Ji, when, when you went to your Guru first in Tanjavur, what was the response like? How, how did he accept you? Were you told ki this is a guru that will teach you with any, without any inhibitions, without any problems, he will accept you for who you are? Yes. First of all, I want to thanks to everyone being here. I feel myself as a very proud moment with the, the legend, my Aruna Akka, and with you, my uh, Umaka's daughters, really. This is my experience. First of all, I want to say I'm not well in English. I can only speak in Tamil, but I'm trying to do with my broken English. If is it okay with you guys? <laughs> because I'm a fully in a Tamil students. I'm just, a, you know, in the 80s. Um, I don't know in other states in India how they face out about the uh, different gender, like a transgender community or whatever that now we call proudly LGBTQ plus so on. But those days in that uh, in early 80s, 
you can't talk anybody in my family also my brother or sisters or any of our relatives or our classmates they don't want to be uh say you are nartaki you are my friend or if any of the crowd i'm just willing to join with them i want to talk share something from to them they just hesitate them to uh, talk with me i don't know why they feel like that this the same way of the life we just face out every seconds you know when i open my door from my house i never feel the freedom breeze i always step out in my home i i i know oh today what i'm going to face today what i hold with the hesitations or any insultings but i feel myself i am a queen i am a princess you know it's not easy i i got it everything from the society give me now i feel uh, that uh, subhash me introduced myself as a padma shri whatever blah blah in 80s is just imagine it i am coming from the interior village in madurai our family also don't have any art support or art connections anything they don't know still now they don't know what is my level of the dance fraternity those days i feel myself like a bee like a butterfly in that freedom breeze i just travel in my our village country deity temple and dancing i just met kitappa pillai we proudly introduce i we don't know is the emperor of the bharatanatyam i'm just i i don't know we are in front of the the great uh, tanjur quartet house we just introduce ourselves to my guru uh, we want to do because we are uh, we are coming here sir we are very famous in madurai dancer we don't pronounce like the famous is it we are very famous dancers in madurai uh, what are you doing that in the record dance what is a record is a film songs you know padmini amma vaijayanti malas dance why are you coming here uh, already we got at a name fame there in madurai but all the audiences wants to say uh, you go at a proper guru take a proper practice with him that that way we are we just heard about you you are the kitappa place very near to madurai in tanjavur so we came that sister adya said okay we'll do but he is a siddha purusha he just what can a uh, vision from my eyes what i mean now in the today t- decades he found i am uh, i can come nalla or artist a varven avar nenichirukkarar but we don't know that day. you know this is my early time to approach yeah. Yeah. but always we feel from the day to the, still now we feel as a queen the dancing queen whatever we think about that is we also introduce our guru avaru romba santoshama um in kanna matte paathittu iniki inga kondu vandu nikka vechirukkarar thank you thank you so much both of you in many ways are breaking boundaries and paths in your respective styles aruna ji I'll, i'll begin with you uh, ob- obviously the world knows you as an established carnatic vocalist but within that you have introduced so many new things you were perhaps the first to sing abhangs you are a bombay girl i know aruna ji is embraced as a lady of chennai but she's ours i'm from bombay first she belongs to bombay <laughs> so aruna ji you brought abhangs uh you have sung you have done collaborations you've sung in churches you've sung hymns uh what was the initial reaction of the community first of all you are an outsider in many ways you come in and you start bringing new things to the repertoire tell us a little bit about that journey because as a woman you are doing this I- i'm guessing most of the vocalists that there, there have been tremendous female vocalists we all know that about sumar lakshmi ji can go on but yeah what was it like 
before i come to that point that you were asking me i must share with you and with all the wonderful women and young women here that when you are growing up what perceptions you are given by your immediate surrounding plays a very big part in the choices that you make so in my home my parents home i mean which is like a 650 square foot typical bombay kutti apartment my father was in the railways but to me that place that little apartment seemed like an ocean of happiness ocean of music where all the great uh, artists would saunter in though it was a humble home they would the, the, my parents made that home so welcome for artists to just come in chat eat have coffee play some card games this that simple things joys of life so for me you know i never saw the limitations of making different choices then when i stepped out i would sometimes just dance with you know these bombay ramas and maharashtrian you know the labor work folks force workers they would do the govinda ala re dance and as a kid i would my mother never stopped me from going and dancing with them she would say okay enjoy she would come with me but she would uh, and and Uh, encourage me and my brother to just be part of that the very next day we'd probably be going to ncpa tata theater to listen to a concert western music concert conducted by zubin mehta the next day would be a nabhang concert by uh, bhim sen joshi so you see when you expose your child to everything as a pleasurable legitimate good experience of art for me when i came into my own making a choice of an abhang in a carnatic kacheri never seemed like an out of place thing it never seemed like that so you know i must uh, emphasize here that uh, parents when uh, it's all the way they look at things as suchitra ji just said i can't go home but let my children come here then the child immediately sees no border between the home and the office everything is a place where you can be happy you can do your homework and you can see amma working in her office likewise yeah so that is why i, I made all the choices that i made for me singing with a french singer like dominic vela seemed a very natural thing to do uh, he singing a tamil song or me singing an italian song seemed like a natural choice sure. we 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 are in the midst of two esteemed artists thoda sa ek abhang aruna ji a little bit a little taster so that our ears can sort of yes absolutely and when can we give a round of applause so we are getting to hear aruna ji the sonorous voice तीर्थ विठ क्षेत्र 
विठल तीर्थ विठ क्षेत्र विठ विठल देव पूजा विठल 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 तीर्थ विठल क्षेत्र विठल देव विठल देव पूजा विठल तीर्थ विठल क्षेत्र विठल माता विठल पिता विठल माता माता विठल पिता विठल माता पिता विठल विठ विठल 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 माता माता मिठल पिता मिठल माता पिता विठल मिठल विठल विठल माता तीर्थ विठल क्षेत्र विठ विठल 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 टाइम स्टूट से लिटली वी हैव टू पॉज द टाइम क्लॉक इट वॉज वंडरफुल वंडरफुल नर्तकी जी नाउ इट्स योर टर्न आई आई हैव हर्ड दैट वन ऑफ योर फेवरेट वन ऑफ योर मिशन बिफोर वी आस्क यू टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इज इज टू एक्चुअली प्रिजर्व एंड प्रमोट द वर्क दैट योर गुरु हैज टॉट यू विच इज फ्रॉम तांजवर कॉर्टे टेल मी लिटल बिट अबाउट दिस भरतनाट्यम दैट यूर डूइंग दैट बिलोंग्स टू दिस स्कूल एंड द लेसन दैट ही इज टॉट यू एंड एंड हाउ यू ऑलवेज से दैट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी कॉल्ड a transgendered bharatnatyam artist you want to be called a bharatnatyam artist in its tell me a little bit about that because i think that identity establishing yourself being on the same stage as a man or a woman i am always want to be a credit to myself first of all you know i uh, that was in my teenage i told you no uh, we don't have any identity words the society never coined any uh, respected uh, name for us i i i i am i can feel myself as uh, i'm not i'm not your showcase i'm not exhibit for this society i feel i i told you no i'm i feel myself always the queen so how can you address the queen in the teasing words you know it's not match that way i feel i i put a name for me tiru nangai is it you know the tiru is a his kind of uh, holiness divineness or god of wisdom or god of wealth or god of bravery 
இன்னும் இன் பியூர் தமிழ் பெண்ணின் பெருந்தக்க பெண்ணினும் உயர்ந்தவள் மீன்ஸ் ஐ ஃபீல் மை செல்ஃப் தேங்க் யூ இஸ் அ ரெகுலர் சட் அ உமன் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஹவு தே ஃபீல் தேட் லிமிடேஷன் ஆஃப் த உமன்ஹுட் வி voluntarily wants to from the different body we want to be a woman this is a different both you know as a regular woman i think myself i i'm better than regular woman because i just feel like a regular woman that's why i put my name in sir tirunangai this is only in the, i think not only in india in the world they everywhere they address like a, you know that uh, uh, visually impaired what they called you know physically handicapped but in tamil nadu only we use the words and terms i coined this word in tirunangai here the transgenders are all called in pure tamil that from the mother tongue we used the tirunangai we you can never hear any in the world everybody used the word uh, is like uh, from the anatomy word or uh, transgender unique are blind or uh, uh, that are visually uh, people like that kind yeah. so at the same time i used my dance also the the repertoire was from my gurus in the tanjur quartet i am just in the special interest with the nayaki bhava here that our uh, hindu philosophy or whatever that or the epic says here no difference in the male or female mm-hmm. nowadays the youngsters in the science said Uh, in the next generation i think going to be they said who is male who is female this is no gender this world every is a human being yeah. so very very before i feel myself i can feel myself in the female or male the both i'm in in better word here i want to introduce i, I think i am a god wow <laughs> you know that wise i gave the interest to that the nayaki bhava wow. traditions is a madhura bhakti or madhurya bhakti in our nalaira divya prabandhams or tevarams or whatever tirupugal they say it no gender beyond that uh, if you want to feel your god or the supreme power you just try to yourself you keep in your mind just keep in the one sense if you are being in the one sense do you feel you are male and a female on the sensing time so that i am feeling always a god like a sensing times as a nayaki baba beautiful <laughs> but but naturally now now it's your turn one of the pieces i know one of your favorites from uh, the tanjavur quartet is mohamana mohamana can we ask you to do that and then we'll get both of you together for a jugal bandi for a do it but first i have a small clipping that i'll ask them to play uh and natiki ji can you please show us yeah when you are ready i'll try <laughs> can i sit and yes. show that ha ji you want to sit and show it or stand it makes me comfortable whatever makes you feel okay yes it's fine yeah we'll start
we have very little time. I'll throw in one quick question and then we'll try to get a quick, quick uh, Jugal Bhatti, both of you coming together. There is a lot of young audience here. This is the time where everybody wants likes. They, they watch a dance on Instagram, YouTube. They want to learn something. They want to get quick success, quick gratification. Both of you have devoted years and decades of your life to an art. Tell us what advice would you like to give to this younger generation who wants to take up a classical art form and, and become stalwarts like you have. Quick, quick advice. It's always the same two words. Shraddha, Saburi. That means conviction, pursuit, relentless pursuit on the one hand and patience on the other. These two qualities will get you where you want to go in any field, particularly in the arts also, always. Natakiji, what would you like to say to dance though it's Chaya Hua, it's all over on internet and everybody wants to learn something by picking up online. What would you want to tell? Yes, I'm also in uh, Facebook and Instagram, but uh, I, I, I think you know very well uh, what I put, you know, if you visit my uh, Facebook or in the social media, I'm just in the cool, in the cool, I never to put my dance in that because I always wants to uh, share something to the youngsters, not only the dancers, who wants to that entrepreneurs or whatever that from our car their career, you just give a respect to yourself. What do you know that is a limitless things. You just go through with it. You don't don't try to do any say any explanations. You don't try to do any support things. If you if if you expect the support things, you can't reach your limit level. From my childhood days, I never expect anything from the support handle or whatever. I, I, I feel myself, I'm, I, you just love yourself. That's enough for your career achievement. That's enough. That's wonderful advice. Final, the grand finale. We have a special performance. Arunaji, Krishna Neem, Bege Bagaru. Sure. And Nartaki ji, you have to, Abhinaya. I think both of us, for all of us in the audience, that will be like the cream. Don't know what she goes <laughs> She's thinking Krishna Ji, where are you? Everybody knows it. Yeah. Okay. Over to uh, Aruna Ji yeah, and Arthak yeah, We'll do Krishna Ji, Begane, uh, definitely. Uh, but before we close, I wanted to add to what uh, Nartaki Ji had said. That yes, we should rely on our own resources. We should feel ourselves uh, able to aim at the sky, as Suchitra Ji just said. But it also helps when the members of the family, the members of the extended family, be it men or women, are empathetic. And I must acknowledge here, my husband Sai is here, that, you know, when, when in 1920, 19, let me tell you, 2002, when my daughter said, Amma, you should go to Chennai because that is the place where you will be recognized. He immediately put in his papers and said, let's go. Just resigned and said, let's go. And that definitely helped. I, I may have done it even without that, but it would have been a more arduous task. So this is a request to men. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little bit like discriminating between men and women, but please, uh, uh, women also to your fellow women, colleagues, friends, siblings, cousins, and men, please look out for the woman in your life. Please. Look out, she may have something out there which is not being expressed, which is bottled up for various reasons. She herself doesn't know what it is sometimes. But look out for it. Give it that little hand, extending hand of love and care and see where she will go. You will be proud of her. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Huge round of applause for Aruna Saramji's husband, who is in the audience. <laughs> now, quick, ma'am, two minutes, three minutes, if you can. 
Yeah, we'll begin. Phones on silent, please. Yeah, this is totally impromptu. Uh, and as we always say, she will take care. Ma Saraswati will take care of what happens in the next two minutes. I'm singing Krishnani Begane Baro, the well-known composition in Kannada. And uh, Nartaki Ji will. Krishna Krishna And all the ladies, this is all the standing ovation. Thank you so much, Aruna ji, Nartaki ji, for this beautiful, soulful rendition of one of our most iconic compositions. Thank you.